Hi everyone, today I'll be talking about Phylum Bryozoa. So, these animals are actually kind of strange. Uh, they look somehow like sponge, but they aren't. So, uh, they are from the fresh to breakish marine water where over 5,000 living species of Bryozoans take up uh, the residence in water system around the world. They are unmoving animals uh, where they attach themselves uh, to, uh, to hard surfaces such as rocks, sticks, sand grains and many more. So some, piece, some species do move but it's a very limited uh, movement. Basically, uh, they live in colonies. A uh, single bryozoan colony is made up of many tiny animals that work together to form the entire bryozoa. The tiny individual animals that make up the Bryozoa colony are called Zoids. So uh, they max out about 4mm in size and they have a body topped by circular or horseshoe shaped uh, tentacles and surrounded by an outer casing into which they can hide if it's startled. This works as an anti-predator defense. Some species also produce toxic chemicals or are covered in harmful spines to deter predators. The zoids are covered in tiny hair-like structures called cilia that circulate the surrounding water. So now I'll move to uh, the next part where I'll uh, explain about the order of Trapostomata. <coughs> Trapostom bryozoans uh, live from, over, from the Ordovician to the Triassic and they are named for their changing mounts. So basically, they are three different types of tubes, or zochia or pores, as we were talking about them earlier. And this includes autopores, uh, mesopores, with the uh, polymorphic uh, species. In this whole order, triple stromata, uh, polymorphic, and they include both autopores and mesopores. Additionally, triple stromata have uh, what call what is called diaphragms. Uh, they are short horizontal dividing walls within the outer post tubes. 